Good morning. Lovely to have you join us this morning. Okay, first of all, I've got a question for the big kids. So we've got the um, older kids here. Last week, we talked about one of the traditions of the church, which was Ash Wednesday. What's the name of the time that Ash Wednesday starts? What's the period leading up to Lent? Lent, okay, it's Lent. And what does it lead up to, Liam? It leads up to Easter, right? So Easter doesn't just appear. Are there any chocolate eggs in the shops yet? Has anybody started eating chocolate eggs yet? No, nobody started eating their chocolate eggs yet. That's kind of good because you know what? Those chocolate eggs are really about Easter. And there's a few things that we need to do building up to Easter. So the church puts this time in place called Lent where we can start to have a bit of a look and a listen and a think about Easter, not just rushing to it. Okay, question for the younger ones that are here. So you school kids, tell me how you cross the road. William. Looking both ways. Okay. So you just run up to the road and then you look both ways and run across. No? Okay. What else do you do to cross the road? But that's, that's a really important word, look. What else? What else do you do when you cross the road? Eloise? Indy? What do you do when you cross the road? William? Walk. Walk? Okay. You walk across the road. What else do you do? You don't jaywalk. You don't jaywalk. Okay. Oh, my goodness. You guys really don't get taught as well as I did when I was at school. We had, we had some lessons in crossing the road because we probably didn't have traffic lights to help us cross the road, and we didn't even have that many pedestrian crossings. So we were taught to stop, look, and listen. So what are we listening for when we cross the road? that big truck that's coming around the corner, don't we? Okay, it's not great if you see something really exciting on the other side of the road and you just run across, is it? And no, you might dent somebody's car and they wouldn't be very happy with you. Okay, so we're gonna stop and we're going to look and we're going to listen and we do that in Lent as well. So if you can just remember those three words leading up to Easter, it's a bit funny to think about Lent being the same as crossing the road, but sometimes we're in such a rush to get those chocolate Easter eggs that we forget about the bits that come before. And so Easter's really about Jesus dying on the cross and rising for us. So this time is the time for us to stop, look, and listen a little bit. So stopping is about just taking some time to be quiet in your busy day. So when you're in the playground at school, you might just stop for a minute and have a look at what's happening around you, okay? When you go to rush out of bed in the morning, maybe you will stop for a minute and you'll have a think about what the day is going to bring. When you go to bed at night, you might stop for a minute and you might think about what happened in your day. And then it's about looking. When you're in the playground, have a look around. Who's that? kid that's sitting on the seat by themselves. What's happening over there? Somebody's crying. Or you're at home in the kitchen and mum just looks really, really tired. Okay? Or you're outside in the garden and dad's working really hard to pull those weeds out and nobody's helping him. It's about looking around as well, isn't it? It's also about looking at yourself and thinking, am I doing the things that God wants me to do? Am I thinking the things that God wants me to think? Am I becoming the person that God wants me to become? And it's about listening as well. It's about listening to God. It's about taking a little bit of extra time, reading the Bible stories that you've got at home, looking at the Bibles that you might have at home, particularly you bigger kids, getting dad to tell you a story out of the Bible, listening to what it is, that God has done and is doing in our world. So this Lent, when you think about Easter, I want you to bring those three words to mind. Stop, look, and listen. Just like you're crossing the road, 
stop in the middle of your day or at the beginning or end, look at what's happening around you, listen to what God's saying. There will be people that he will put in your way that he needs you to help. Go out and help dad pull those weeds. If mum's looking tired, ask her what you can do to help. If there's somebody in the playground that is looking unhappy, that person is put there for you to help. Okay? So think about what God's done for us in Easter and then what he wants us to do in the world this Lent. Let's pray. God, we just thank you for everything you did for us at Easter. We thank you for stop, look, and listen. And we just pray that you, we will feel you walking with us during Lent right up to Easter and that you will help us to see the people that you put in our way and to hear what it is that you want us to do. Amen.